How to create a Instagram carousel post with Canva. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build your own carousel posts using Canva. Now, what are carousel Instagram posts? Well, this is a Instagram account over here and we can see over here we have posts like these where there are multiple images that are uploaded together. Now, this is just one example. There are several different ways to do carousel posts and carousel posts can actually be really, really interesting and can serve as a really great way for you to tell a story or for you to post something motivational, educational, maybe post a recipe. This really just depends on your personal niche and I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to create a cute Instagram carousel post. So for this, all you have to do is head on over to canva.com and search for Instagram. Okay, once you search for Instagram, you will see Instagram post. Now, depends on what type of post you're looking to do. If you want a square post or a portrait post, I want a square post. So I'm just going to search for Instagram. And it's automatically going to give me the recommended size for a square post, which is 1080p by 1080p. You're going to open this up and this will give you a blank canvas. Now, what you can do is that you can click on add page and actually view two pages at once and start designing something that is cohesive, something that includes elements of your first page into your second page in your carousel post. So for example, if I was to say, I want to build like a recipe or a cooking tips Instagram channel, okay? So first off, I'm going to color the background so it looks a bit more interesting. Usually a bland background just really makes you bored. So I'm just going to give it a nice deep red color, okay? Then I'm going to search for cupcakes on the left in my element section. And we can see we have several different amazing little graphics here. Now, a really great way to make your Instagram post very, very beautiful in the form of a carousel is by including a transitive element. What do I mean by a transitive element? Well, I'll show you guys. So in that post, what you're going to do, for example, whatever it is, I'm going to take this cupcake over here. I'm going to enlarge this, okay? And I'm going to enlarge this to the point where it just basically fills up the entire canvas. Yeah. Now, I would place it halfway through like this. And I would write my post over here. You might say, hey, what about the rest of my cupcake? You're going to make the rest of your illustration fit into the other half. So over here, we have the first half. Then an easy way to do this is to simply click on duplicate page. Select the animation or select the element. Sorry, not the animation, select the element. Then you're going to click on crop. Once you click on crop, you're going to basically crop it till the edge of the frame. You want it to be slightly present on the edge because it makes it easier to hold. Then you're going to hold it and then attach it to the other side. Just slightly move it to the left. So the little part that you included that was actually meant to be cropped out is still there. Now I have this cupcake which is going to become whole when people scroll between these two elements. Now for example I want to write some cooking tips. For that I'm just going to go into a text box and then add a text box. Then I will place my text over here. So baking tips from someone who hates to bake like this. Whatever your post title is you can insert that over here like so. And I'm just going to resize this a little, place it right over here, like so. Once this has been centered, I'm going to scroll down and add my secondary text box. So it's going to say tip number one, depending on how many carousel, you know, carousel posts or images I'm going to include in one post, I can add multiples. So tip number one is going to be always use measuring cups and a oven thermometer and I'm going to resize this and then again I'm going to place this on the left and I'm just going to do this build a gap here and this looks pretty decent I'm going to move it to the top actually and once I've done that I have my Instagram carousel post ready now to download this I can just click on share click on download on the top right and download this as a png 
Now, when you're posting this as a carousel, I'll show you guys how that's done as well. So we've downloaded our Instagram post and it's going to be downloaded as a zip file. When you click on that zip file, it will have two individual elements and I'll show you guys how it looks more cohesive in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on create. We're going to click on create posts. We're going to select our images and we're going to select both of our images. And this is what it's going to look like. So you guys can see how the cupcake gets completed. And I'll just post this so you guys can see. You can just click on share and then your carousel post will be created. I'm just going to wait for the upload to be completed. And once this has been completed, so our post has been shared. And I'm just going to refresh so you guys can actually see my post. And this is our post over here. And then, you know, as our transition is happening, you can see the cupcake and it looks really gorgeous. So this is how you can elevate your carousel posts instead of having just a singular theme. Now, secondarily, I'm going to show you guys how you can create bulk posts like this one. So you guys can see this has a quotation and it has a image and a quotation. Now, if you're fine with having the same image, you can actually build these in bulk. For that, you're going to go back into Canva and open up a brand new blank canvas. So again, I'm going to go with a square Instagram post and then I'm going to go into ChatGPT. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me five, one, give me five one line motivational sayings and it's going to give me a list of five you can do this in tens or hundreds even okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take any template that i like or any element that i want so i want i'm going to search for hard work and i'm going to take a look at some of the photos that show up and we have a couple of photos i think i'm going to go with this one here and i'm just going to expand the image so it fits nicely once I've done that, I'm going to click on the transparency, not, not the transparency. I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to go into a black square and I'm just going to select the square and place it on top. Now you might say, why are you doing that? Well, you're going to change the color of the square to pure black, not blue. We're going to go into black, then click on the top right where you have the transparency of your square and then increase, uh, you know, move it around. So your image has uh, a overlay. And once you have that overlay, you can put any text on top. Enter a title text at the center. So by default, this has been entered at the center. Then you're just going to copy your quotations from chat GPT like this. And you're going to go back into Canva, click on elements on the left, click on apps on the left, search for bulk. And once you search for bulk, you're going to see this feature called bulk create. Click on enter data manually, click on clear table on the bottom right. Then you're going to paste in all of your quotations or whatever you uh, decided to create, then click on done. Once you have done this, you're going to click on your text and it's going to ask you to connect data on the top left. Click on connect data and connect empty field one and then click on continue. Click on generate five designs and you will have five different quotations and your posts are going to be ready. So you guys can see all five of our quotations have been added in the image and you can do this in and build like hundreds and thousands of bulk create posts which are easy to manage and you can upload them regularly. So this is how you can do some carousel posting on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.